Hey guys, this is Kitsy Higgins. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, today is Thursday, December 28th. Uh, so I'm here in my office again. Uh, I am actually out of this amazing uh, school that used to be in the city of Trenum. It's so beautiful. I love being able to recycle this building. I don't know why I'm talking about this. So, uh, so yeah, so <clears throat> today I wanted to talk to you guys about was uh, having faith in God and in his decisions. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think a lot of stuff is coming up here with this conversation. Uh, I know many of the people that I work with in my line of business, which is being a psychic medium, uh, primarily a medium, is that uh, people are confused of why someone died or why uh, God made the decision that he did. And what is amazing is that, uh, and I know everyone has different beliefs. Maybe you're an atheist. Maybe you have no beliefs. You just don't know what it is or what, what your beliefs are. Or uh, you have total faith. But even then, God does something to kind of question all of that. Uh, and what I wanted to talk to you today about was one of the biggest, sorry about that, I'm getting texts, uh, what I, uh, what I've noticed the most of is, and what I've always, what spirit has always told me to kind of say to that person is to have faith in God's decisions. Uh, I, uh, talked to this one lady who was an ambulance worker, this, this memory of this me talking with this conversation about this lady about is coming to my head. So I thought that this might be really important to kind of bring up right now. But what it is, is that, uh, there was an ambulance worker and she was talking about how it's really hard for her to be an ambulance worker because sometimes they die and sometimes they live. And she was really, really hurt. And she didn't know if she could keep doing it because, she didn't understand why, why some of the people were dying. And in that moment, I just said, well, ultimately, it's not your decision if they die or not. You did your part, which is amazing. And uh, you did an amazing part. You, you helped them in that moment where they're still in their physical body. And they really needed to have you in that moment. But ultimately, that person and God felt that it was not the right time to uh, to continue living. They chose to, to pass away, whether that person or, or God or I don't know the background of that. But primarily, it is just that uh, having faith of that. Uh, I know also I work with a lot of people, and I give the example of September 11th. That was a really hard day for everyone living especially in America. And hi, Anna, how are you? Merry Christmas. Uh, and uh, the big thing is, though, is, you know, when I was working with these people, uh, it, it was, it's, it's hard, but that's a great example of knowing that just everything happens for a reason. And if you look now at the families of September 11th, uh, you know, some of the people are remarried. And, oh, thank you. And uh, some of the people are remarrying. Some people actually got remarried and have kids. So, I mean, it's it's amazing to see how one uh, day where it was a really hard day for people, um, things came out of it differently. Uh, so you might be questioning, well, you know, I had the accident yesterday. You know, uh, how was that planned and how was that God? And, and that's awful, you know. And I get that. But there must be something good coming out of it. There must be something that was it was meant to happen. Uh, so the biggest thing I really recommend is just to have faith, truly have faith. And I know you might say, well, she's a psychic medium. She doesn't believe in faith. She doesn't have any faith or she doesn't believe in God. And what's amazing is that I have a deep connection with God and a deep connection with Jesus. And... Uh, and I've learned just to go with the flow. And I've also, hi, Stephanie. 
Um, I've also learned to just uh, really have faith of everything happening, truly. And, and look at where in that moment you say it's not making sense. It's just not making sense in my life. But then three months, six months, ten months down the road, you realize, you know what? You know, because of that, I'm where I am today. So, uh, again, it's one of those things of just having faith. Know that God's in your life. Know that we are all playing a part in the life, in, in, in this life. And, and even though if you might just be doing something, know that, know that you have a special part. And um, just have faith. You know, it's, uh, I'm right now at the point where I am having faith. And I'm at the point now of, you know, realizing two years ago, I was freaked out over a bill or freaked out over something in my life. And then somehow it worked out. And now five years down the road, I'm realizing, wow, I got through that period. Amazing. And uh, literally we can do so much uh, and we don't give ourselves credit for. So it's one of those things of, of just have faith and you'll, you'll look back at that period and be like, wow, I can't believe I got through it. So you can choose to one, you know, live your life stressed, be mad of why this happened to you and I don't understand it, um, or just have total faith that, okay, this is what happened and it is what it is. And now I'm going to move forward and deal with where I am at. Um, one, one major thing is to definitely tell people how much you love them. Uh, I, I, and I'm getting on another topic and maybe I should be starting it on this video, but, um, you know, if you're, if you're having faith, if everything's happening for a reason, you know, tell people how much you love them, tell people how much you care for them, because it's one of those things of, you never know what will happen. And at least you could say, well, I told them that I love them. So, um, you know, uh, just be totally open, be totally in faith of how everything's happening. And even if you didn't get to say, I love you to that person, understand that it was still meant to happen. It was still meant to happen that way. Because everything happens for a reason. And I was just listening to this uh, religious song over the weekend. And it was some song of, you know, if it didn't happen, it wasn't meant to happen. So, uh, so truly, really, uh, have faith in your life. Have faith in God. And know everything's okay. And know that you can get through anything that is in your way. Sorry about that. I just got a, another text. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for watching. Again, recap, um, trust of where your life takes you. Uh, really just embrace your life. Um, embrace on the twists and turns of your life and twists and turns of other people's lives. And just have faith that everything's happening for a reason. And if it didn't happen that way, obviously it was not meant to happen. And to trust that. So, uh, thank you all. I hope this gives you guys some peace and comfort at this time of the year. Uh, and just an FYI, I am offering, um, a few classes over the next few months, uh, intuition development, how to connect with your deceased loved ones, um, how to connect with your guides and angels. So if you are interested in possibly doing those classes, uh, um, I have a whole bunch of uh, things on my website. Uh, these online classes, you don't have to be anywhere. We can, you can just be in your home, relaxing, sweatpants and everything. So, uh, so yeah, so you can do it from the comfort of your home. Um, all the rates are thirty dollars and under. And I hope something, um, you know, I hope so, I hope you find something that you might like. So, uh, I wish everyone a wonderful holiday and happy new year. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.